Hello, hello, hello. So, here we are, verses. Blood versus Crips. Reason I say blood versus Crips, right now in today's political climate, we're looking at basically the blue versus red. However, a person like myself, as a registered independent, I like to stay on the fence um, and allow my voice to be heard and not pre-calculated. So with that, with verses, I think going forth, I'm gonna use that ideology and in informing people on a multitude of different issues that affect us on a daily. Uh, one of the most things that will affect us as a country, as a nation, more importantly, as a state and as a city, is the Louisiana 2nd Congressional District. Um, this November, Cedric Richmond, um, in a special, well, the special election will fill the seat left by Richmond on November 17th when President-elect Joe Biden announced that Richmond will join his administration as a senior advisor to the president and the director of the White House. So what that has done is allow 15 candidates are now running in, a special, in that special election to fill that seat representing the Louisiana 2nd Congressional District. That will be held on March 20th, 2021. And a filing deadline was this January 2020, this January 22, 2021. So over the last couple of weeks, the media coverage has uh, primarily focused on Troy Carter, Karen Peterson, and Gary Chambers. Um, both Carter and Peterson currently serve in our U.S. Senate. However, um, Chambers gained notoriety for the coverage out in Baton Rouge. Long story short, you all need to be informed. Out of these 15 candidates, each one of these voices is gonna to speak to somebody uniquely. At the end of the day, you need to know where you can find that information. Um, me personally, I've sat down over the last couple of days and kind of scoped the, um, scanned the internet for where these candidates hold their information, what they've been doing. Um, basically, why should we vote for them? So with that, let me give y'all some of the names. We have Chelsea Ar Ardon, um, Belden Nuneman Baptiste, Kelston Bernard, Troy Carter, Karen Peterson, Gary Chambers Jr., Harold John, J. Christopher Johnson, Bernard Joyser, Lloyd Kelly, Greg Lorette, Mindy McConnell, Desiree Antaros, um, Jeanette M. Porter, and Sheldon Vincent Sr. Um, it is important, again, for you all to know who these 15 individuals are who are trying to get our vote within this area to become the new Louisiana 2nd Congressional District Representative. That's for the House of Representatives. Um, I'm not going to tell you who's a Republican, not going to tell you who's a Democrat, Libertarian, or no party affiliate. That is on you to do your research. I will say this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven out of the fifteen actually have a website. Um, four do not. Um, so eleven out of the fifteen that are running do have a website. Four of them do not. Majority of everyone does have some form of social media. That is Facebook. That is Instagram. So the tools are out there for you, John Q. Public, um, to. Find who you want to represent us in Louisiana 2nd Congressional District. More importantly, I encourage you all to research these candidates and volunteer. Volunteer um, your time, knocking on doors, waving signs, um, um, talking to your friends, your neighbors about the importance for voting for the candidate that you have researched. Um, and if you want to take business out of the equation, donate to your candidate. Five dollars can go a long way. Ten dollars can go even further, so on and so forth. Um, what you all have to understand and what we have to understand is that our vote not only counts, but our dollars go further. Um, if as a collective unit, as a community, we can stand behind a candidate that we feel as though best represents us and our values and donate to their cause. This is Michael Lewis with Versus NOLA. Look forward to talking to you all soon. Have a blessed day.